Friday night and Duke eliminated Robert Morris. And there he is. Many feel he's the national player of the year. Jaleel Okafor, who was the ACC player of the year. And San Diego State, a band of believers at 27 and 8 on the year. They are no strangers to the tournament after what Coach Fisher has done to build a consistent winning program. Stevens, Breeding, and Kimball will officiate. And here we go. Okafer steps in against 6'10 Skyler Spencer. It's a good defensive presence who controls the tip here for the Aztecs. Jim Nance, Grand Hill for you younger guys, man to man. I know you don't comprehend what? What? what happened to you. <laughs> Are well, you feeling see. all right? That's late today. <laughs> oh, Brian. Gets back his own miss. Nice Swings kick. it outside to Shepard. And he off on the three. I got to get the real man to man, though. Can we get it at this end, Bill? Right, Come right on. Now, San Diego State. <laughs> <laughs> there, there it is. is. There you go. Higher than ever. And this is yeah. tough against this set defense. San Diego State has tremendous length on defense. A team that Duke is not used to seeing protecting the rim. Jones, getting Jones at Okafor. Fourth of four games on Friday, and particularly with Poli and Shrigley off the bench, they hit shots. They had two good looks the first time down the floor, failed to connect. The matchup on Winslow on O'Brien is going to be crucial. Oh, steps, yeah, good call by Michael Steve. Uh, you had mentioned in the first game about Duke's defense when you played great denial again on the wings, and it sort of permeates that team over the years. And Coach Fisher, this is his 16th year at San Diego State. Hate to get into this age thing, but he is the third oldest Division I coach behind Larry Brown and Jim Beheim, and he'll turn 70, will Coach Fisher, on Tuesday. And again, as Tracy reported, under the weather, as uh, the stomach flu has been passed around through the uh, San Diego State locker room. I think Okafor could be a real presence. He, he gets the, they get, okay, they, I thought they were going to call it on him instead of Sky, as he likes to be in the, oh, it's Spencer. A little nickel dimer. Yeah, Spencer does not normally get into foul trouble. He's got a quick one here. Okafor using his size and strength. It's going to be a battle all night for Spencer inside. Here's Okafor. Nice. Hits the shot. This kid is smooth. And you don't say that. You say about wing players and guards. Great footwork. Always in the right spot. You know, the size matchup is going to be huge. Right now, Tyus Jones on Poli. Like to see him get inside. He's not a post up guy. He's I think so much taller than the Duke guards. Quinn in trouble. He stopped his dribble. And O'Brien comes over to assist. I think the big thing is Spencer moving around. Get Okafor away from the basket. Bounce pass to Spencer. Driving in on Okafor. Who sends it out of bounds. It'll stay at this end with just one second on the shot clock. Coach, you talk about being smooth and polished. Okafor, touch inside. Great footwork. Super talented. Got to get off the quick shot. Shepard inbounds. It got it off in time, but it never touched anything. Duke's going to go ahead and run with it. Winslow, who can go end to end. <laughs> what a forceful attack that this kid puts out there. Just love pushing it down the floor and finishing. The San Diego State team with the win against St. John's last year made it to the Sweet 16. Got to get some movement, some ball movement. So Brian, he's had a couple of shots and a good start here for the Blue Devils, who've uh, shut down the Aztecs for three plus. And Winslow with a great stand with O'Brien and a little late help by the big guy here. Okafer. Using the body on Spencer. 
<laughs> too big, too strong. Oh. Splitting the double team, finishing with that hook shot. Spencer didn't know Matt Jones was there. He got a foot on the line. It's going to go back to the Aztecs. Grant, Boy. I, I'm waiting for this guy to have a blowout game. That's how good he is. Yeah, super talented, big and strong. It's unfair to be that young and that talented. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lot of moves on and off the court, correct? With his chess background. Apparently he's a he chess is, champion. Yeah, Jim? he was a, he was the champion of his uh, of his grade school. We had a great meeting with him yesterday, and what it just so candid. He talked about in the first game against Robert Morris. He came out. He was nervous, tournament nerves. But he, you know, he's, that's not something that's unusual either. He's got those jitters. You know, once they get started. Uh, I just love how open he was about it too. Good look here, JJ. And ask for a better look than that. And they've missed their first six from the floor. Yeah, he used the big guy. Good things. Here's the double, and he does a great job. Look at that little tennis ball he's got. Spalding. Don't you talk about getting doubled. Okafor has been doubled since seventh grade. He's accustomed <laughs> to it. Yeah. Great point. Ball was off San Diego State. First six to Duke. Shots lead to that bad field goal percentage. They're always in the right spot. Yeah, they are. Yeah, really, tonight, though, it's going to be uh, which team is able to impose their will, their style of play. San Diego State slowing it down. Duke getting out and scoring a lot of points. Matt Shrigley has come in for the Aztecs, hoping to give them some punch on offense as Tyus Jones misses with the left hand. But it's nice. Okafor to Winslow. And now it's 8 0 Duke. Boy, he looks so ready today. What a great find by the big fella. A little pressure applied as Quinn gets it across to the center. Spencer to Shepard. Okafor just playing center field down there, and he's not worried about Big Sky unless he's on vacation. <laughs> it's Shepard. Put back for the first points of the game. O'Brien, fifth year player who started his college career at the University of Utah. Utes waiting for the winner of this one in Houston on Friday. Up ahead. Nice play. Oh, and it's Winslow who intercepts it. Now Duke's got the numbers. Cook for the three. Now that's a, the way Duke wants to play, though. These wide open, this wide open game is conducive to their positive side. He can shoot him. Yeah, Wrigley, though, never set with the feet. You like him, they're liking him to Harden, huh? Winslow? Winslow remi reminds me a lot of James Harden as Okafor hits another jump shot, but he reminds, he reminds me of a lot of great players. He reminds so. me of Tim Duncan from Wake Forest, but Harden, a guy in the open court. I saw a lot of him at Arizona State. Mm -hmm. Tremendous talent. Shrigley, as Matt Jones gives chase, good shot by Shrigley. And it's the one thing Steve Fisher wants him to do more. He can do that, but does settle deep. About the first four minutes, San Diego State came out a little just nervous, a little rattled, but they've calmed down now, playing good basketball. Corner three, rattles in for Cook. Cook should pay rent for those corner deliveries. Yeah, you know, he had one like that the other night, too, that bounced around and dropped from outside. And now he's got a streak of 45 consecutive games with at least one from outside. And they switch up now, Winslow on Shrigley. It might be just a Rotation here, they switch back. I think Shepard's got to take advantage of the size matchup. Shepard lost it. Give it Winslow up. has it up ahead. Cook, no one there. Turnovers, top of the floor, leads to quick timeouts by Steve Fisher. against Duke. Quinn Cook is always leaking out, getting ahead of the defense, finishing at the rim. 
he can put numbers up fast. Saw him do the same thing on Friday night. Mm -hmm. He had four threes before you knew it. And, and they spread the floor so well, and the, the Jones' ability to drive and the kick out passes on double. Uh, uh, what they got a little Grayson Allen? Yeah, Allen who just comes into the game, freshman from Jacksonville, called on the hold. Also getting a look here at Marshall Plumley, who comes off a career best performance, a double double. 10 and 10 against Robert Morris. So what, a, what a valuable sub in a lot of ways because of practice against Okafor. Always diligent on this end of the floor. Shows, guards his guy, communicates. Mike telling us when they communicate, they're a better team. There's a foul. O'Brien will shoot two. They brought in Trey Kell at the point, giving Quinn a breather. That, that was a good possession. Getting O'Brien at the elbow where he likes to, to penetrate. Just taking the ball to the basket, drawing the contact, and good thing to get to the line. They started off two for ten from the field goal percentage, and sometimes you just got to get to that free throw line and see the ball go in the basket. And this is one of your old guys that you alluded to when your <laughs> indiscretion pointed at me. Experienced, experienced. He knows how to make plays. Oh, I love this kid. Makes two off the foul of Jefferson by Jefferson and. Here's Tyus Jones. A good move, Let's stretch on the floor a little bit. Allen sets it, hits wow. it. How about the screen by Plumley? The dribble handoff so hard to defend, particularly when you're running and your guy's trailing. Breaking the press, taking it to the paint. Kell doesn't finish. Chased out. Kell battling with Allen. They're going to call Allen with his second. They got the wrong one. That's his second. Uh, they always pick on the young guys, incidentally. Uh, I guess they got him for that slap, but I thought he got fouled from behind before. That's just a follow through. Goodness. Whew. Lose your wallet on the subway. Mike Krzyzewski arguing the call. You could even see Mickey in the background. <laughs> like, what was that? I, I, I'd rather argue with Mike. <laughs> I might win one of those. <laughs> Troll comes in and scores. Looks like right now San Diego State's putting the ball in O'Brien's hands and letting him operate and be a facilitator. Great pocket pass and great finish. Angelo Troll, 6'9 junior from San Diego. Here's Allen back outside. Jones steps in. Quick release to Shrigley. Cuts on Allen and banks it in. And Allen with those two early fouls, wasn't sure what he had to do there defensively. And Bill, you said Shrigley can get to the basket, show some athleticism, not just a shooter, but a guy who can put on the floor and finish. And you can see what Steve means, like be active and attack. Duke going a stretch here with both Winslow and Okafor on the bench. Stepping up, jumper, Tyus Jones, not this time. Here's a good looking freshman right here, Malik Pope. Yeah. Clears it and brings it up. I like Malik Pope. This yeah. kid has so much talent. Joel, they leave him alone. Probably really did a nice job forcing that miss. Trying to ice it one way. Shrigley doing a good job. And we're calling it tight there. Shrigley whistled for the foul. You and like the aggressiveness. Duke getting out. Freshman averaging double figures. You saw Okafor coming back. Winslow returning. And of course, you got Tyus Jones, who's moving in now on his 200th assist of the season. He eats three. What a trio. And there is the starting point guard for San Diego State. He was sick Friday night. Akil Quinn, a couple early uh, turnovers, and he sits. Winslow. Oh, great help. Pope, collectively. Yeah, Pope and Spencer. And here's Pope releasing. Turnaround jumper. Spencer has it taken away. Winslow snaps it ahead. Cook. Pretty good defense. And again, it's Pope. 
O'Brien. They leave him open, and Okafor hit him on the head. His first. Let's get another update on the Aztecs from Tracy. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. That's exactly what they wanted to do. They want to get the ball to J.J. O'Brien. That's the thing that Steve Fisher continuously says in that huddle. They also want to make their layups, and he mentioned that J.J. has to stop Winslow in tra transition, and Trey Kell must pester Quinn Moore. Well, O'Brien, when we met with him yesterday, the senior who made first team all conference in the Mountain West, called his decision to transfer from Utah to San Diego State, where he very nearly signed and right out of high school. Best decision of my life. And so impressive with that kid, too. You know, unique skills is how Steve describes him. His maturity and just his response to us. Uh, just a, a real solid human being. There's a little diagonal cut. Okafor, get it in. What a great start. There you go. Three. It's on the freeway. He's tracked a lot of traffic. Good defense. Oh, yeah. San Diego State initially sent three guys there. Yeah. I, I think they forgot their assignment, really. You know, everybody. <laughs> hey, when in doubt, just go trap. Uh, just bring the whole team, Steve. Why not? Force him into a tough situation. One of the few mistakes. Well, the only mistake I think he's made this particular beginning of the half. But when you double team Okafor inside, Duke's shooters have an opportunity to get open. He's going to have to be able to find them. But the length of San Diego State, those traps are hard to find the shooters. Foley on the floor. He hasn't uh, taken a shot yet, Bill. See, see if he gets a banker in for three. Yeah, he made a few of those. Made five threes on Friday night. Here's Kel, jumper. Nice check out. And Duke underneath. And Winslow. He can take it all the way, as he has already once in this game. Nice luck. That's Good. what you were talking about. Excuse me, Jeff. Duke has missed its last five from the field. He can take him. Look at that soft. Kiss. Wow. What a big fella. Unrequited love. First basket in three and a half minutes for the Devils. And O'Brien. Okafor almost got his second there. I did a nice job backing off being tall. Nice cut. Hand on it by Shepard, but back out to Cook. No change of possession, so the shot clock down to 20. Keep feeding the big guy. And they double him up every time he touches it. Cook. Well, he's got great pace now. He loves that drop step spin. Say good night. Oh. Get the dry cleaning. Mm. Ten already for Okafor. Took five out of seven from the field. How about this move, coach? Okafor with the footwork, but look at the little bump. That Knocking Derry, Spencer off. That Derry air comes in handy, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> Curl, possess. Oh, that is pretty. They take O'Brien out. He's been working hard and handling the ball. Good chunk of the time, and they bring Quinn out to handle things. I'd say Okafor's got a pretty good start here. Doesn't look nervous yeah. tonight. No matching points with the opponent. Look at the mismatch over in the left corner. Never go to it. Quinn oh. gets blocked. Here's Cook. Pretty bounce pass on the side. And there is Okafor. Duke basketball off to the big start here in Charlotte. Well, that looks like our open. Out in a flash. The power at the rim. Double up on Shepard. Uh, Okafor just playing center field. Free safety. Winslow almost. Here's the three by Poli. No. They've gone almost five minutes now without a shot. Making a shot. 
Shepard with that giveaway, Jim. But how about the big fella looming large? Post up, run on the floor. Here he comes. Please get out of his way. Mercy. Send it in. What numbers he can put up. Unstoppable. On the floor there. <laughs> Thomas you, Hill. I think Jeff Capel said they're going to know you by your first name, like LeBron Grant Ja. And they will if he plays like this. He could just take over a game. Is that your Powerful. nickname? Is that your nickname for him, Ja? <laughs> no, no, that's what Jeff gave up, I think. And the guys, too. Well, he's already outscored the entire Aztec team, which is approaching five minutes without a basket. I'm talking about San Diego State. Okafor with 12, Aztecs with 11. Really good at either box, too, which is a talent for a young guy. On you know, ball screen. Coach K has gone back to his starting five. Here's Winslow. And Poli sweeps it. Shepard really not taking his guy with the dribble. Had a miscue off the bounce before. To see if Malik Pope can get something going. A lot of talent. He's got Tyus Jones on him down low, but they don't recognize. That's because they harass out here. They don't get good vision. Shadow the passer. Shepard for two. That's what he's got to do. He's got that ability. Shepard talked with me yesterday. Tall, 6'8, great ball handling skills. Getting into the paint, attacking Ogilfer. Need more of that from the Aztecs. First field goal in five and a half minutes. And that's Pope who got a hand on it. Watch live games on your Amazon Fire HD, Windows, or other connected devices with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com, March Madness, or download the app today. Tend to shoot for Duke. Uh, one big thing with Okafor on the Okafor at the other end, they got to make him work. Can't leave him on the floor. When pretty. Oh. I agree. Okafor, you got to get him in screen and rolls. Mm -hmm. Get his man to sit. Jones picks up a foul at half court. But uh, Winslow does everything. The utility guy for the Blue Devils going in on a 6 11. Malik Pope and getting to his offhand, off the glass. There's a lot of the little things. Defense, steals, you can score too. That kid's a talent. Here's Quinn. Not a generous roll, but he gets it back. Oker has got it. Didn't go up that time. Three seconds. JJ ah! O'Brien's coming back, so is Shrigley. Well, Steve believes a three second call down there. With Brian Dutch, your longtime assistant. Been with him forever, even back when you played. Yeah, Brian Dutch recruited me along with Steve Fisher, and they've been together for many years. But right now, Duke 52% from the field and no turnovers. Mm. Flawless. Now, Jones not having one of his best games, but we know what he can do come stretch time. And Tyus can let Quinn play off the ball, or he can play off. Look at this angle for the delivery. Beautiful, big guide hand, and you just saw Winslow go to the rim this time. Send the big fella. No stopping that. 28-13, Blue Devils. Already down to five minutes to go in the first half. San Diego's been out of sync with that Duke pressure. And that's tapped out by Choll to Cook for the double, Shrigley from behind. And they got a push on the knee, but you're right, Jim. What a great effort by Shrigley. Over four, once again, dominating. Just sealing down low, keeping the ball hot, not bringing it down, quickly getting it up on the glass. With the kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and switching the hands, the dexterity in traffic. You're rubbing off on me here, Paul. Oh, God forbid. You're doing till, great without it. <laughs> wait till you get to Indianapolis by that time. <laughs> that was a foul on 
Shepard his second. We're going to have to have a curfew for Grant, though. <laughs> Okafor, front of the rim that time. And Joel says, I'll take it. Duke without a turnover through the first 15 and a half. Here's Shepard jumper. Quick work of it at that end. And Winslow oh, on steps. the break. No. He is something else. No one steps up to stop him or cut him off. I think he took the A train on that. Come on, Grant. You Runaway can't. train. <laughs> Maybe a one or two steps there. Maybe three. He is impressive, though. And on this end, he can do it all as well. San Diego State out of sorts, just not getting into their offense. A lot of one on one play here. You're not going to do that against Duke and be successful. When tapped up, yes, that's Joel. And, and they got Okafor to go play away from the rim. You're in position then to do some damage. You know, if there's one criticism of Okafor is defending the screen and roll. I think you can go at him there on that side of the of the basket and uh, you're going to have to make him work on defense because he's a load on the offensive mm -hmm. end. They've got Chole on him at this end. That's O'Brien with the takeaway and oh! Winslow says get that out of here up ahead to the corner. And Cole <laughs> with the three and Duke masters it at both ends. Oh, Mike is really into it. Get the fans. Unbelievable what their defense can do. Oh. When Quiet mm. things for just a moment. Nice run and nobody sees him. Not good. Right Unbelievable. There, no that, one mm -hmm. was aware that Okafor had beaten him down the floor. Transition defense is a must. Uh, Duke believes in the legal system. Jurisprudence. Justice. Justice it is. Under God. Oh, my goodness. The power to the rim. How about and this we're giving up. You like this, Grant? Uh, with all due respect to Shane Battier, oh. Justice Winslow might be the best Duke defender of he, all time. He just lost a friend. <laughs> 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 More than double the margin for Duke. And Christian Leitner likes what he sees, tweeting out this way to run, pass, and dunk Duke. Keep feeding the beast. And he is some large individual with grace. Look at Plumlee. I just love the way he goes. Look at him splitting the middle. He went over all the way on the other side of the lane to help out. And now he recovers. Counts pass underneath. Spencer tapped up. Yes, O'Brien. They're going to count it. And a foul on two. Now they're checking out the game. They don't uh, head off to the Sweet 16 in the same direction as the winner of this one, but enjoying a little uh, front row seat here. Mm -hmm. The NCAA tournament. They're going to Syracuse. The winner of this game heads to Houston. Could they be tweeting magic like Christian tweeted you? I, I think so. They have a relationship with uh, magic and anytime you get the big fella Christian Leitner one of the best college basketball players of ever, all time tweeting about you. That's quite impressive for Okafor. Now you two have a great connection with your wonderful university. As Matt Jones driving it. Oh look at Spencer. Wow. <laughs> what happened to the Bill Russell? Yeah he's been watching concept. films. Of the great Bill Russell and how he would control the SWATs, well, try to keep them in play. That's a little message, I think. Statement block. Get it out of town. That's in the books now as his fourth block. Didn't realize he'd already had that many. You know, San Diego State wants to get back into this. These last two minutes, they got to get some stops, get some baskets, feel good about themselves going into halftime, and make the necessary adjustments. Just in time, and never touch the rim. So, 
Shot clock violation on the Blue Devils. They did a really good job forcing Cook a couple of extra dribbles. Look at what they did in the first half on Friday night. They came out shooting and hitting. That hasn't been the case here. But Trigley could change things. He was four out of five from three in that game. O'Brien lost it for a moment, put back by Shepard. They got to get scrappy, and get involved. And of course, Steve talking to Tracy at halftime the other day. He was shocked they scored so many points. He was. And Quinn Cook. San Diego State now getting a couple stops here. They got to convert. Shepard taking it in. Yeah, he is good in the open floor. Well, Scored right over Winslow, who he trains with down in Houston. A couple of Houston area kids. The last seven points for the Steve Fisher side. Go inside. Damage control. Got to relocate. Oh, good for him. <laughs> Set that one up, didn't he? Iso, coach, I can take him. They had the double team down low, went outside, got one defender to go away, and then challenged Spencer and scored. He's got 18 in the first half, does Okafor. On well, 9 out of 12 from the field. Get a good one. See if he can get an offensive rebound as well. Two seconds to go, and Shepard lost it out of bounds. Coach Okafor recognizing the double team, dribbles out, gets back to that one-on-one -on -one coverage, and here it's just skill and strength. That little bump on Spencer freezing him, not allowing him to contest that shot. Unbelievable, huh? the ball handling skills as well. Here's the Grand Hill inbounds pass. <laughs> <laughs> not exactly the same result. Uh, Cook is not quite like Lander. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, AT&T at the half. Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, Kenny Smith. Mm -hmm. At times, it's been effective, but he's just so strong. He is so strong, and he's used to being double teamed. He can find the shooters, find the open man. Uh, this guy has played big, uh, but expect San Antonio to still come at him. You got, or excuse me, San Diego State to still come at him. And uh, I, I think some of these shooters, Quinn Cook, Tyus Jones, might have some open looks here in the second half to do. And uh, the fun for me, Jim, was that when he had the double, dragged it out, and then beat his guy off the bounce. Shows you all the things he can accomplish on the floor. All right, they begin with the ball in the hands of Tyus Jones. He didn't score in the first half, but he reached 200 assists on the season. He's the top freshman assist man in the country. I know that doesn't surprise a whole lot of folks. The kid out of Minnesota. San Diego State finished the half strong. See if they can come out here the first three or four minutes and get some stops and get out. Nice cut. Ends up in the hands of Jones. And again, it's saved by Matt Jones. Winslow. Pretty. No look. Matt Jones bouncing it over Okafor. Tough angle for that little kiss. Holy! Spencer tries to save it, but he had a toe on the line. You know, Poli is struggling. You just think of the other night that St. John's game, having gone there as a freshman, a lot of adrenaline and struggling right now. They got to get rejuvenated right now. It usually goes to O'Brien. Some dribble drives on the wing, attacking the basket, getting into the paint. That's what San Diego State needs to do here. Like you said, get the ball in O'Brien's hands. Poli is 0 for 2. After hitting 5 out of 7 from 3 on Friday night. I'd like to see him go quick. Look at this footsteps. Oh my goodness. Shedding people. No regard whatsoever for the safety of others. <laughs> and O'Brien tried to come over, lend a little support. I think that's called reluctant support. When he's turning and attacking. Impressive. Look at this. Oh, he makes the play at this end now. Quinn trying to cut off the dribble. And O'Brien able to pull off the theft. Shepard. And a foul on Winslow. And again, that's his buddy from back in Houston to foul them. Okafor here, you said coach go quick. He didn't go quick, but he spun quick. Got to the basket. 
<laughs> great <laughs> footwork. He pirouettes with the best of them, huh? The foul was on Winslow, so Shepard to shoot two. You can watch the Masters live on CBSSports.com for exclusive video of Amen Quarter, 15 and 16, featured groups and highlights and analysis, CBSSports.com and Masters.com. He made a comment, Grant, in that first half about, hey, Shane Batty, I'm sorry. Winslow is probably the best defensive player we ever had at Duke. Yeah, I got a little ahead of myself did, there. Did you I get a little reaction? Uh, yeah, I got a little reaction. Billy King texted me. Oh. Sheldon Williams tweeted me. <laughs> Your oh. phone was blowing, yeah. phone was blowing up. Huh? Tommy Amaker, one of the great Duke defenders. So I, I got a little. I'm a rookie at this. I got a little ahead of myself, Coach. Stand your ground. Yeah. I mean, you've made that statement. Yeah. Stick with your position. And, uh, I was a little ahead of yourself. But he's very explosive on the defensive end, Justice Winslow. Like, uh, Ty is really having his trouble with the floater. Of course, Grant's a former National Defensive Player of the Year, too, Bill. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they got a few. The Mojo was one, right? If I'm not really? mistaken. I don't know how I got that, but I'll take it. And Shepard will take that, too. As the Aztecs find themselves 12 down. I'd like to see that Shepard, O'Brien getting in the paint. Getting easy baskets, and also San Diego State has to crash the offensive boards. Not a great shooting team, but they can get second chance points off their rebounds. And I look for Cook if they double to get located properly. They really, once they do double, you know what's coming. Let's see. Nice kick. There you go. Sets up Cook. A little too deep, maybe. And a little pull away by Jones. That's going to be there for Duke as the Aztecs double open looks. They got to knock him in. And Quick was a little, he was a little deep right there. I agree with you. Third foul called on Matt Jones. Spencer looking for a little help. Usually JJ at some point. The modest post up, looking for others. Poli coming in, left hand off the glass, and it's a 10 point game. A nice job not settling for the deep one. Poli did it. Ten. Yeah, his first points. Dukes hit just one of five to open the half. Look at this load up. Oh boy, I thought he got pushed from the rear. Get attack, get attack here. Shepard, will he take it? No, it's set up Quinn. Bypasses the three. Poli comes in. Two point jumper. Got it back. And Duke takes it away. Two good looks for Poli. I thought Quinn might have taken the three. And, and you're right. I think earlier in the day you were saying about the size of this team. They've got to have an impact on the board, Chip. They're making plays at this end, but Winslow not stopping that one. Seems like he hits the big shots. He does. As the momentum is just starting to change. And Winslow no, with the three. And no challenge on that jumper either. Gets a couple of subs off the bench for Coach Fisher, Kel, and Shrigley. And there's Quinn. A healthy Quinn, too. Hopefully. Yeah, he was really ailing on Friday night with that stomach virus. And now maybe a good part of the team is suffering from it. We know the whole coaching staff has uh, been reported to be battling it, including Coach Fisher. I refuse to say and shake Steve's hand. <laughs> I was wondering what that was all about. <laughs> Matt Jones. Well, that's the guy that can really help, I think, coming as you get deeper in this tournament. If they're able to get by today, you'll get some open looks as an option. Shepard blocked. Ooh. Got a little more interesting here, fellas. It is. It is. Shepard heard it in by the big fella. Fisher, he's been on the bench for every game that Steve Fisher's ever been a head coach. Coach in waiting. The way Steve's going, and there will be a longer wait. 
They just signed up before the start of the season, wrapped a three year extension. Right. Pope. They haven't made a three today. There it is. And how about that? One for seven. And that one brings it down to eight. Uh, we mentioned this kid's talent. Mixed bag up front deep. Mac Jones. Can't get it to go. The defense of San oh, Diego oh, State. You can see that coming. Oh. Yep, you did. But uh, their defense has picked the intensity up here. And Duke is struggling scoring the basket. And on the offensive end, getting into the paint, getting to the free throw line, being more aggressive. San Diego State has more free throw attempts than Duke. Mm -hmm. Duke has taken no free throws tonight. So they have to continue to be aggressive to Aztecs to get back into the game. First time we've had a uh, single di digit margin since eight minutes were on the clock in the first half. See, now they got Pope moving Oka for a round, and that's not his game. Shrigley, this is his game. Ooh, that would have been big. Watch your back. Got to get back. Oh, yeah. and it was O'Brien. Mm, you got to feel that. You could see it coming, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah. Kel. Yeah. They've had two good looks from three. Failing the drop. You now with Pope out there and Shrigley, they're shooters now. They're going to stretch the defense a little mm -hmm. bit for Duke. Duke's got to go inside, though. Take advantage of the matchup. O'Brien on Opal 4. Now you can dictate. Look at this shape up. It just rolls in the lane. Nice hands. Duke has put up five points. Almost seven minutes into the second half, just five points. I mean, look at this advantage, JJ, right? That big body just <laughs> leans on you, controls you totally. And back in is Grayson Allen, the freshman who hit a three in the first half but picked up a couple quick fouls. There there Jones, go. he's gone on the board for the first time. <laughs> he just keeps trucking that kid. If it gets close, that's his time. Kel, no one stopped him. Look at his numbers. Cook. Deflection. No? Nope, going back to the Aztecs. Well, I haven't seen Mike this animated, and uh, this is one of those guard around. A nice little play. You can see that dribble handoff almost like in the center of the floor. It was too easy, but you talked about Coach K being animated. This team has a tendency to let the, the foot off the pedal a bit at times throughout the season. And that's what happens when you have young players, freshmen, in roles like this. They got to bring the intensity for 40 minutes. Here's Pope setting up another three. He's hit two to help bring the Aztecs back within seven. Wow. He keeps nailing those. They'll canonize him out in San Diego. <laughs> Okafor has to come out, and that's not his strength. Garden deep. Cook over Shrigley. Ooh, under duress. Rebound tapped out to Kell. Got to stay in this high screen and roll with Pope. Runner, Kell, no. Pull away go. by Winslow and Duke. Pushes ahead to the corner. Cook. The senior hits big shots. You know, Winslow just keeps stepping up, though. You need a rebound. I'll get it, coach. You want me to play the passing lane? The run out. Perkin. Red hot. Cook. Nails it. Adjustment take Oka for off Pope, and they do. I'm looking now. Justice is on Pope, uh, so he's won a few games over there. I guess he knows what he's doing. Huh? <laughs> Both these coaches, they, they know how to make the necessary adjustments. Oka for on O'Brien, who likes that modest game. See if he steps out a little bit, and they're going to use him now. Oka for, excuse me, O'Brien is not the long distance shooter that uh, that Pope is. Exactly. He might dribble drive on him though. Pope's feeling it uh, very nearly, but Shepard hits the offensive glass. 
Able to get a foul on Duke. Third on Allen. Oklahoma, 7-10 Eastern. TBS begins a doubleheader with Iowa. And Gonzaga. Here's San Diego State putting up a spirited effort in the second half to hang in there. Down 10. And once again, the strategy, J.J. coming out. Okafor, boy, on the catch, tough shot. Bounces around, and Jones secures it. Grant, you were saying the solid base of O'Brien, the reason they're guarding down here, he should be able to spot cutters like this. Yeah. Winslow. <laughs> He's got a double-double. Good. 13 and 11. Oh. Just pounds that thing in there, didn't he? Wants to go home. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, the regionals. That's right. Down in Houston, the winner to take on Utah. O'Brien's got to go at Oakland for here. There you go. Off the glass. And again, another rebound for Winslow. It's 12. I think you've got to have a medium game when you drive. He's not going to get anything at the rim against Okafor. One, two dribble, pull up. Yeah, exactly. He's back up. He's not down in a stance like a wing guy. The post's got to be a nice little step to Yeah, him. Allen banks it home. Gracie will love that one. <laughs> You saying it sounds like Gracie Allen? <laughs> <laughs> and a timeout call. Hey, the freshman. Look at him. Exchanging a few playful jabs with Okafor. Helps. Okafor in the post, passing. But Winslow diving when he gets the ball. Okafor delivering. Great on selfishness. Great pass. Great cut. Great talent. And they switch the look now. A little horn set. The ball screen slide. Comes out to Pope. And Winslow reached in and got the steal. Up ahead. Yeah. Two more. And the run now at nine. And he was peeking all the way. If the defense suffocated him, he had a partner. Quinn. Oh, slapped away by Okafor. Boy, at times they look so good. And you mentioned once in a while they relax, Grant. Yeah. You gotta maintain that consistency on both ends for 40 minutes. And Mike might be the best in the country at shortening the game, too. Particularly with that lead, making sure you get a good shot. Boy, that's an athletic kid, though. Allen gets the foul, but his fourth. Mm. Getting steals, coach. Forcing turnovers and Jones getting out, finishing at the rim. I said before, so good in transition, off of steals. Winslow really made that play happen. You know, it's amazing. Winslow, we talk about a potential triple double with that kid some evening. He could have a quadruple the way he plays passing lanes, deflects the ball, passes. Well, it came somewhat close on Friday night. Fell short in the assist category. We got four assists tonight. No, oh, not good here. Oh, there's another, there's another steal. One. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. One of the four. As Quinn reaches in. Now you had that conversation with Jim about Houston, right? He's been in that building. Yeah, he was there for the final four back in 2011 when Connecticut, Connecticut beat Butler. Sitting up in the stands four years ago, dreaming about maybe one day being out on that field, mm -hmm. that court. Pretty exciting. Well, it's uh, home for you, too, by the way. I'm looking forward to hosting you guys next week. Does that mean we should leave our credit cards home? Like, like, you, so. like, you like you always that. do. <laughs> <laughs> Why should it be any different? Uh, oh, I'll be able to enjoy this trip <laughs> if we go there. It's been an expensive road to the Final Four. Get a little hold up in the lane. Zero. Skyler. Spencer. Spencer. 
and the inability to score sort of written on Steve Fisher's face there, you know, pensive. Right. Uh, this is what they've hung their hat on the defensive end. And Duke here is known for nursing a lead mm -hmm. midway through the second half, late second half, using some clock, like you said earlier, shortening the game. Are you in favor of that? I mean, as a player? Yeah, I was never a big <laughs> fan of that, but hey, what can you do? Well, you're going to get a call from Mike now or a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, told me, you told me to be honest, Phil. Uh, <laughs> blame it on me. I can take the hit. a rough day for all these relationships, Grant. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Not a single free throw attempt. They're humble, and they're one of those clubs that, you know, gets to the free throw line with regularity. More, they certainly make more than the opponent attempts. Yeah, we're not talking about a bunch of jump shooters here. We got okafer has been in the lane in the paint. Maybe that's what Mike has been chatting with the officials about. Well, you want a free throw? Here, here you go. go. Let's go to Tracy. Well, thanks. You mentioned, Jim, how they got it under seven at one point. Well, that's what Steve Fisher said in the huddle. Let's just get it under 10. He said they're going to own the ball. We need to get some buckets. We need to guard. He also said, don't get all glassy-eyed on me. Go out there, compete, and leave everything on the field. Well, right now, they've had to try to withstand a, another run by Duke. It's the fourth time in the game. Actually, over the weekend here in Charlotte, they've had a a run of 10 nothing or bigger. And if we learn anything this tournament, it's still a game. San Diego State just has to chip away. Look at this. Not turn the ball over like they did there. Yeah, you know, I love the way they play that that passing lane. You see Winslow frequently. Joe, the anticipation, being in the right spot, helping out, seeing both the ball and your man. Hoping for you get a rocker down there on the baseline. He did think here he comes. And they feed him down low. The double team. O'Brien saw that pass coming. Five on the shot clock. Nice cut down a baseline. Winslow steps over for the three. And it's pulled down by Poli. Aztecs have turned it over three of the last four trips. They get a shot off this time that'll lead to. A pair. Would Coach K during the tournament allow you guys to ever look ahead a little bit or have a sense of what was going on elsewhere in the tournament, such Not as Kentucky right now out there this year? Not at all, Jim. He would break it down as three two-game tournaments. Let's focus in on the, the two games at hand this week, and then after you accomplish that, move on to the next week. So no, no distractions at all, no looking ahead. Who's going to make the most shots? Who has more points in the second half? If your brackets are already busted, play the Capital One NCAA Tournament Run game on NCAA.com and in the March Madness Live app. Uh, you know, the more I look at Justice Winslow, you should have given him your uniform. I, I agree. Uh, certainly, number, I mean. No, Winslow asked to have my number, and uh, he, uh, I should have given it to him. I shouldn't have been so <laughs> selfish. <laughs> It'd be a tough climb, yeah. but in your heyday, you could have gone up and gotten it. Hey, I, you know what? If, if he would go get it, he can have it. <laughs> the sad thing is he probably could get it. Was one of the great talents consistently since Mike was there. He's tremendous, but I'm going to wait and reserve full judgment. See how many years and what he ends up doing with his resume. We're talking about a guy here sitting with us with two championships in four years. Mm -hmm. There's Matt Jones. Yeah, I appreciate you defending me here, Jim, against Bill. Uh, <laughs> no, you need a little help. Yeah, I appreciate that. Well, two against one. It's very unfair. <laughs> <laughs> but no let up here. Quick cook, pressure in the ball. Whoops. Nice cut. And oh, look at it again. He plays the lane great. Look how fast he got it out. Cook. Easy lay in. Look at Justice Winslow. Hill. He had the arms up. Saluting. Well, it's gotten away from the Aztecs. Coach K on the ground as though it's a tie game. Amazing energy. Timeout San Diego State. And you were knocking people that had a few years under the belt. Look at the energy over there. <laughs>
Well, San Diego State down 21, matching its largest deficit of the season. Jim Nance, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, and Tracy Wolfson. Earlier today here in Charlotte, we saw Michigan State eliminate Virginia as the East bracket now has lost the one and the two. Villanova yesterday, Virginia today. And you think Michigan State should have been seated higher? Well, I was listening to Charles in the in the studio, and it was kind of a reflection of the same thing Grant thought, that the winner of that game probably would go to the regional as the favorite to advance on. You know, who knows? That's what NC State showed yesterday and others to play today, but they're going to be a tough out. This has got them going. He sure does. Another block by Duke. And San Diego State's gone seven minutes without a basket. And that's their problem. Games I watched during the end of this year, they struggled on that offensive end. And not much you can do here unless you want to run and trap and they'll pick you apart. Final five minutes here in Charlotte and the Blue Devils well on their way to going to the regional again. Oh. One to shoot, and dunking it down is Okafor. Well, they are some combo from early on in age, right? Yes, yeah, so it's the third grade. <laughs> they first met in the third grade. I didn't even know the AAU had national tournaments in the third grade. <laughs> that shocked you too, Grant. It shocked me, AAU ball. But these guys, the chemistry, the, the connection they have on the floor, knowing each other since the third grade, on display here this afternoon. And they were determined to play college ball together. Kell. And look at Okafor. Oof. How about when we talk to both Tyus and Jalil about how serious were you guys in this commitment to playing together in college? And they got down to the last couple of days before the signing day. The families had gotten close. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of communication going back and forth. And they had their final three schools. They were they were going to do it. One surprised me. It was Duke, Baylor. Kansas, and Baylor. That Baylor. surprised me. Wow. They Not said true. It's going to be Duke. And here they are <laughs> teaming up again. <laughs> there you go. Right on cue. Decimating the interior of a talent-laden defensive team. It doesn't go. They're going the other way. That's Poli. You know how many Kansas and Baylor fans were just so sorry to be reminded of that? <laughs> a lot of them. Oh, though. man. First field goal right there by the Aztecs in nine minutes. Timeout on the floor in Charlotte. Take a look here at the Duke bench. They've made some subs, brought in some subs. Cook, a starter, still out there, along with Matt Jones and Tyus Jones. But Winslow and Okafor sit with a margin at 23. Jefferson returns to action. Plumley. The bench is not that deep to go That's to. That's the thing. You know, they only they're really got 10 guys yeah. they dress. I mean, eight play. And you wonder sometimes about that depth issue. If it's down the road, Duke, Kentucky. They couldn't meet until the championship game. They're on opposite sides of the bracket. What do you think? Have you seen enough here, guys, to think this is a team that could take on undefeated Kentucky and give them a go? Well, they have some good pieces. Great guard play, uh, a superior interior player in Okafor. That utility guy kind of do it all mm -hmm. in Winslow. And the nice complementary pieces that play off of those those players but the depth of Kentucky 
can give Duke problems. The length interior-wise, those guys against Okafor, as Cook scores on the driving layup, could cause some problems for Duke, I think. You know, I, I would agree. I, I think what they have is you need a floater game, which they have. You need a drive-kick game, which they have. You have a big guy in Okafor who uh, they don't have to double, certainly, but he makes good decisions. And if you play him straight up, that weak side, the secondary defender has to really be alert because he can finish or find people, and they guard. They get after you. You know, I would love to see the high-powered offense of Duke versus that stifling defense of Kentucky. Whoa, that would be something to see. We'll talk about it a little bit more. Dry Coke Zero. And that is Mr. Okafor. They call him Chucky. Chucky's got some moves. Yes, he does. How are you on the dance floor, by the way? I mean, I'm kind of nice out there, but I'll tell you what, I'd be dancing too if he were my son. <laughs> You'd be prancing. <laughs> San Diego State has Winston Shepard at the line. Be that guy that knows everything about your favorite teams before the rest of your friends. Download the Team Stream app from Bleacher Report to get all your team's news first. Jalil was raised on the northwest side of Chicago, out there in the uh, area near O'Hare. Mm -hmm. Ended up uh, attending Whitney Young High School. Coach K tapped into that Chicago pipeline. Yep, the high school that, uh, well, that's where Michelle Obama, our first lady, was a Whitney Young High School graduate. Well, Mike thinks he got his toughness from Chicago. What do you think? I, I think he did. Yeah. He would reference that a lot you know, back in the day. He, he used to, his brother, his brother Bill, he admired. It was his hero. Oh, yeah. Yes. You know, and uh, just, just such a great influence on his life. And, well, he's passed it on to these kids. It's back to Cook. Three to shoot. On the floor, Shepard. Final two minutes to go here. Nice job. Oh, back he, by Spencer. Giving ground. Wasn't a miss. He's all about effort, that kid. Yes, he is. There's Shrigley coming in with a steal and the dunk. Can't say enough of this. It's not going to be the way San Diego State had hoped this would turn out. They were hoping to really have one of those statement wins today, but you, you just can't. Help but admire what Steve Fisher's done there in his 16 years. You know, the uh, arena there seats 12,000 plus. They've had 50 some odd sellouts in a row. And when he first took the job, he had his wife Angie. They would go around campus trying to find people to handing out tickets, couldn't get people to come to the games. Now they're a tournament regular, and there's more good years coming. Good sure young class. Are. Okafor has set a Duke program record. 47 points in the first two tournament games, most ever by a Duke freshman. What happened, Grant? You didn't step up? <laughs> Christian never passed. <laughs> there it is. Hurley wouldn't give it to you early. You didn't have confidence in you. Be careful, you know, Christian's out there tweeting. Yeah, I gotta be careful. One. I gotta be careful. But that's impressive. Think about all the great freshmen who have played in this tournament. Mm -hmm. Some of the great scores set that record. Great job, Jaleel Okafor. I, I don't know how you stop him, really. Such a good passer as well as finisher. And once again, the blow by. I love that kid. Four assists and now ringing a bell. There's Debbie. Mickey and the family, the girls and the grandkids. Out in full force. And you mentioned Steve and what he's accomplished. They've got a new practice facility as Shrigley lines it up. It's going to open up in August. Yeah. He's done a, just a fantastic job of building that program and when he arrived there was no tradition nothing but he's established that tradition and continue to build that program and make them 
a national success. Well, I knew of guys like Michael Cage who would come through there. Their sure. all-time assist man at San Diego State, Tony Gwynn. Wow. Oh. Yeah. He was a great basketball player. Of course, we just lost one of the great human beings and sportsman, Tony Gwynn, here in the last year. By getting everybody in, and why not? Well, you know where he lives out there in San Diego, right? Beautiful area. Del Mar. I hear the weather's not really it's conducive. Not, no, he's toughing it working out. Working out outside. It's not as good as Ann Arbor's weather, but <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to adapt as Shepard lays it in. Duke's going to be. Matched up with Utah, a team you liked all season long, Raph, on Friday night down in Houston. Uh, right, can do the job. Outside shooters, Pirtle in the hole. Larry Kostoyak has them playing well. Career win number 1,014 for Mike Shashevsky. Okafor had that huge first half with 18, ends up with 26. Winslow wasn't too shabby, 13 and 12, with another five assists. It's a Friday Sunday site in Houston. Duke and Utah, the one and the five. UCLA is also already won two games, set for Houston to take on the winner of Iowa, Gonzaga. Mm. Gonzaga, we know. Great backcourt. Pangos and Bell. How about this shot? That's more important than anything. 